So we're going to look at question number 20. And this is create a polynomial of minimum degree with real coefficients, and that is important, real meaning they're not complex, and there are certain zeros that are listed. Now in the original problem, it said one plus or minus one i. Uh, you, if you have one complex zero and you have real coefficients, the conjugate pairs theorem tells you you have to have the conjugate. So even if it's only one plus one i, you also have to have one minus one i. So the important thing to understand here is the big rule. This was from 3.1 when you graphed and you had factors turning into zeros. And it says that r is a real zero exactly when x minus r is a factor. So what I'm going to do is write down zeros and then the factor they correspond to. And this actually does not even require the zero to be real. r is a zero exactly when x minus r is a factor. So I'm going to write all those zeros on the left. And just a reading at the top of the screen, we have x equals 1 plus, I don't need to write 1 times i, I can just write 1 plus i. You also get the conjugate, 1 minus i. And there's a third one, x equals negative 1. I'm going to write the last piece of information, y-intercept at 8. This is not a 0, so I want to split this off from the zeros. So y-intercept, it just says at 8. Let's be a little bit more careful with our notation. What that means is if you plug in 0, you're going to get out 8. What that would look like on a graph is your y-intercept would be up here at 8. So when your x-coordinate is 0, your y-coordinate will be 8. So in function notation, that means f of 0 equals 8. All right, so let's go ahead and apply this big rule here. This is a correspondence. So I have a zero, the factor it corresponds to is x minus that zero. Now in order to properly subtract, you really need to subtract the whole one plus i, not just subtract the one. I like to put factors in parentheses. Our next correspondence is x minus, now we have one minus i, and last one, we have x minus minus 1. You can definitely uh, simplify these a little bit if you want to. You can distribute your negative sign here. So you have x minus 1 minus i. x minus 1 plus i, because that negative distributed turning it positive. And the last one here is just x plus 1. All right, so that's all of our factors. Let's label those as factors. They're written as factors, but might as well label them. All right, what do you do with factors? You multiply them. So our polynomial that we're gonna create, so we're just gonna write all the factors multiplied out. And we got x plus 1. There's a hidden factor, it's a numerical factor, and typically we use the letter a for that. a is not going to be 0. Uh, if a is 0, it's a very boring polynomial, it'll always be 0, because if a is 0, everything else will turn into 0. So we do need to figure out a. How do we figure that out? Well, we're going to plug in 0 for x. So find a by plugging in zero in for x, and then that will equal eight. So we're gonna have eight equals f of zero. Now I'm quickly up here, gonna go zero, zero, zero. All those x's are gonna be zero. Don't forget the a is still there. A is what we're trying to find. Minus one minus i, minus one plus i, and zero plus one is one. All right, so how do we multiply these? Uh, well, it's easy to multiply one because you're not doing anything. So we really want to multiply the two in here. Now they're also conjugates, and let's do a real fast conjugate review. Uh, we always use A and B for conjugates. I know I'm reusing A up here. So 
I'll just put a C in here. All right, when you multiply conjugates together, you get C squared minus B squared. And if you're wondering where's the outside inside, well, they're right here. You get plus CB and minus CB, which cancel out. All right, so now we're ready to multiply this. Negative one times negative one is one. All right, I's are a little bit more tricky. So it's gonna be minus uh, I times I is I squared. I'm not even gonna write the one. All right, now that you see this conjugate product down here, you should have seen this a lot of times, so I'm gonna erase it. All right, I squared is negative one. And one plus one is two, two A. All right, I did not mess with the left side, so you can just bring down, as long as you don't change the left side, you don't have to write eight, 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 etc. As long as you don't change it, you're fine. All right, and it should be pretty clear, my A is four. And all I'm gonna do is plug in that value right here. That will be my answer. Uh, they did ask for it in standard form, so they probably want it expanded. And I'm gonna make a separate video for that because it's gonna take a little while, and that's uh, really just an algebra problem.